While so much focus has been put on social media sites like Facebook and smartphone devices for misusing consumer data, your data, and putting to question user privacy, there may be another culprit right in your living room. Internet-connected smart TVs are increasingly being used to track what people are watching, and companies are using this information to target those individuals with specific ads. One company that is capitalizing on all of this is AT&T. Now, with the purchase of AppNexus, they did this quietly. It's an ad tech company. And then they also just bought Time Warner's. You know, is AT&T going to become the biggest corporate spy ever? I want to bring in leading tech analyst Chatham Road Partners Director of Research Colin Gillis. This is a fascinating topic. It's, it is. I mean, they have to execute quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But they've got all the building blocks in place to become a third leg in online advertising. Did, the, did, did your antenna go up when they bought up Nexus? Because they really did make this acquisition pretty quietly. They're moving extremely fast, right? They, they closed Time Warner, now Warner Media, and then yeah. bam, they pounced in on App Nexus, right? Dropped a couple billion dollars there. Mm. And then they rolled out Watch TV. Do you think that we're going to get this outcry now? You know, we focus so much on social media. Do you think that the next outcry is going to be about our televisions? And frankly, does the consumer, the average person, really know how connected that TV is? So let's think about the Watch TV app, right, that you get for free. It's their at and skinny bundle, mm -hmm. right, $15 a month if you're not an at and customer, free if you are, right? Any service that's free. You've got to realize that you're the product. It's not free. Right? It's not free. It's not free. Right? And so like, we've seen it with Facebook, right? We've seen mm -hmm. it with Google. There may be a degree of, you know, of cry about privacy, but for the most part, but privacy issues, you know, continue to take a, a back seat to targeted advertising because people don't necessarily mind targeted ads. That's kind of what I was going to say is that if you look at, at a lot of online polling about the issue of privacy, most people say I don't really care so much. In fact, I like the fact that I get advertisements that are targeted at me for, you know, whether it's shopping or food shopping or whatever it is. People don't seem to be that upset about it right now. So the ability to own content and the, the repeal of net neutrality has allowed AT&T to go from being a dumb pipe to becoming a smart pipe. They've escaped themselves out of the utility jail. The stock has been stuck for five years. We see over the next six quarters that this could start to have some upside and break, uh, break out of this 30 range it's and been trading. Yeah, but for, for the stock itself, I know you're bullish on at and yeah. the stock, but also, you know, the pipe is something that, that goes directly into your home. Like Facebook isn't running the pipe into my home. Correct. And neither is Google, the two biggest ad spending companies that we know of, right? Facebook, Netflix, right? So having that connectivity is gonna be extremely powerful, right? And now they They've got the content, they've got the connectivity, and they're putting in place the mechanisms to deliver, deliver you targeted ads with the idea being fewer ads that advertisers will pay more money for. Other players could get into this. Think about Comcast maybe, think about Verizon. I'm thinking of the sure. biggest companies that have quote unquote the pipe into yeah. the homes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and there used to be business models back in the day because the only company that would know more about you, you know, than say Google would be you know the ISPs right you know the actual pipe where everything that's flowing to and from your home or to your devices you know can can be seen and recorded and monitored and profiles can be built up on you and there was a hue and cry back then but you know like all things you know give it a few years and they're going to try to roll the dice again and see if they can deliver on this business model it's interesting because you know you mentioned Facebook and, and we talked about Google they've been very successful at targeted advertising yeah. at the consumer and they have made an incredible business out of that do you think that AT&T is going to do the same? They certainly have the potential. And one thing that's going to help them is advertisers would like to see the duopoly of Facebook and Google, you know, sort of broken up a little bit to have a third advertising option, which would be AT&T. And mm -hmm. let's not forget that they have incredible reach, right? We're talking 100 million wireless subscribers, right? 25 million TV subscribers. So if they can pull this off, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a big, broad vision, but it's certainly something that they're executing and they're executing quickly on. You talk about Samba TV, which is another version of all sure. of this. Samba TV, they, col they collect the data from the televisions, okay? So they say that they've collected 13.5 million uh, consumer data from, from televisions, but they've, got, it's, they've only got venture funding right now. It's about 40 million. And Time Warner's invested in them. Mark Cuban's invested right. in them. Is this our next uh, acquisition target? I, I mean, know. you know, th there is speculation that you're going to see more and more players who value data, particularly with the repeal of net neutrality, right? That, that's the big part of it. It allows Ooh. these telcos to keep people within walled gardens. And once you're in my walled garden, I can know more about you and I can deliver more targeted advertisements. And I'll tell you that I'm giving you fewer ads as a service to you.
Mm -hmm. I, but the reality is I'm, I'm building a profile and I am specifically targeting what you want to buy. Nothing's free. Nothing's free. Nope. Colin, thank you very much.